And we are starting, right? Hi! Okay, so I'm Julia, I'm 28, I'm from Rome. I have uh, scoliosis, like an S1. S1. Just while we're chatting one extra little thing? <laughs> I, it happened, I didn't know it was related, but I suffer from tinnitus normally, like the whole time, and now it's totally gone. It's just gone like that. Now, it's tinnitus is incurable. Uh-uh. Oh! N- oh. Not. <laughs> not at all. I'm telling you, it's not incurable. <laughs> and it's just I'm gone from... You, yeah, it's totally gone. Woo-hoo. I believe after months and months and months of suffering from it... Uh, now, one of the things that... Co- can you turn around for two seconds? Yeah. Tinnitus is actually caused okay. very largely by... this In front of this bone here, C7, is the stellate ganglion. And the okay. stellate ganglion controls... Oh, what doesn't it control? It controls the flow of blood to the head. Wow. So that causes migraines when it's messing out. It controls the flow of blood across the eardrum, the tympanic yeah, membrane. Right. And it controls the repair of the arms, hence you get um, sort of repetitive strain injury. And it, can, it also sends signals to the heart, for the heartbeat. Wow. And that's where you get all the heart attacks when people have um, problems here and congestion here at C7. So that's... Um, Tennis is caught live on camera. Woo-ha! Oh, look at this. Is it dead? Little, 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 Fatigue, but but reckless, and it's, it's it's a weird feeling. Yeah. But now it's like it's all gone. I feel so light. I feel lighter, even yeah. here in my head. The tinnitus is gone, so hopefully I will sleep finally. Oh, hey. it's so great! It's so great! It's so great! And the other little homework for those who are not close to the, this machine, they asked me um, to fix the C7. Inclined bed therapy is also very good for tinnitus. Okay. It helps yeah, keep the drainage, right. but it's all good thing anyone to go for. Go for. All right, bye bye. Yeah, once again. <laughs> right, so hi, hi everybody. Hello. She's back. Julie is back. We are now. I'm Damien from the Good Back Scoliosis St Albans Clinic, or the other way around. Um, and uh, in August 2020, yeah. Julie came over, had four sessions of the ASME treatment, and her back went from, especially her lower back, went from uh, to so from a snake to pretty much nearly straight. Exactly. Since then, um, I've had an awful lot of people say, what happened to her? How long did it last for? Well, we are now in, um, what the heck are we now? We're in 2023, yes. April, end of April, and... Yes. I'm very, I'm so much better. My life changed totally from before. I kind of get to think this is normal. Yes, that's the weirdest thing. And ever. so it's only that's after you've had this treatment and you realize, whoa, yeah, it's this not feels normal. good that you'd then go back in time and tick. Actually, I was really uncomfortable, but yes. I was just so used to it, I you know, didn't think anything, I, I wouldn't the, say it. The feeling that, uh, okay, so it's like switching on and off uh, a switch. <laughs> yeah. um, it's like as if something moves inside of you, I don't know, it's not metaphorical, you literally seem to feel something that moves inside of you, and all of a sudden it's like when you open a flower, it's like, Oh, it's like you wake up. I don't know, really, don't know what to explain. Body's working properly. Yes, it's like life is happening. You feel you. like your juices are flowing right, you know. Uh-huh. And it's like in an instant, it happens like this. And you say, you you think, oh, this is how I was supposed to feel in my life. Yeah, yeah. And it's your heritage. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh. And so, no, man, you changed my life. Yeah, you're gonna lie about it. One, <laughs> one more little question before we get started with normal yeah. treatment. Um, how's that coming on? Oh, actually, not that bad anymore. Yeah. Like, it's not even the, I, I don't notice it anymore, but it's not even there. Yeah. Every now and then, because I, I also have um, deviated septum, I think I also said okay. it in the last video. So, I like today, yeah. I have si- sinusitis, yeah. yes. Like, my sinus, yeah, I'm always full of stuff, okay. <laughs> mucus and stuff. And so sometimes I get it from there, but from that, but usually no, I don't have it anymore. Okay. So it's, it's 
it used to wake you up at night, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd no, be asleep no. and it would wake Man, you up. I couldn't leave. I honestly couldn't leave. 